But Jesus comes into town exactly the opposite of a conquering hero. He comes into town, and if you'll forgive me for doing this, this is where I feel closely connected with Jesus. Jesus comes into town like a fool. And sometimes we're going to feel that it's foolishness to try to change the world. Why not just give in and go along? Why ask questions about what's happening? Jesus says to us, follow me. Do good. Question power. And we know where the story is going to go. The power is going to show itself exactly for what it is. Just like everywhere in the globe just now, when uprisings seeking democracy and liberty and freedom and justice, they're squashed by power. That's a picture that Jesus gives us. And that's the meaning of the New Testament. I know there's lots of talk all of our lives, and it's all about who's going to go to hell and who's going to go to heaven. Well, that may be a small part of it. But the main thing about the gospel of Jesus Christ is God's will done on earth the way it is in heaven. And if we believe that heaven is a just place, then let's make earth a just place. If we believe that heaven is a healthy place, let's make earth a healthy place. And let's say no to all those people who are out there saying, no, no, don't worry. God's going to destroy the world. He's going to destroy all the sinners. He's going to throw all the bad people into hell. And if you belong to this little club, you're going to hell. Let's say no to that wherever we have the opportunity in a kind, generous, loving way. But let's be people who look for peace on earth who work for justice, without which there can be no peace, and let's be followers of Jesus. And that's going to mean making some decisions. And we'll work on that as time.